Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ivanka and for those of you that are stopping by for the first time, welcome and I hope you enjoy everything I have in store for you. So today's video is really exciting for me because I will finally get to review a palette I've been waiting for for so long and it finally came. It came probably two, three weeks ago but I had a bunch of other videos I already planned to record so I didn't have a chance to do anything. I was so tempted to try this palette but I definitely wanted it to be a first impressions video. <sighs> Look at this beautiful book of eyeshadows. I mean I definitely have all the eyeshadows I probably need uh, I have different brands, um, there's definitely some that I like more than the others, but when Jaclyn Hill came out with a palette, I had to support her. And it's also a Morphe palette, it's really inexpensive for an eyeshadow palette of this quality. And also Jaclyn Hill is one of my favorite YouTubers and makeup artists. Her makeup is always, always flawless and beautiful. So I definitely wanted to support her, but I also wanted to try this palette because actually I've never used Morphe eyeshadows. I do have some of their brushes and their beauty sponge and things like that, but I never try their eyeshadow palettes and I know they're really inexpensive, but they're really good quality. So I definitely wanted to try it and once Jaclyn Hill came out with a palette, I just had to get it. And there's definitely colors in there that I do not have that I think I will be able to use. Uh, I decided for this video to make it simple. I wanted to just try out how the colors are and how the eyeshadows are, but I definitely didn't want to do anything crazy today. But once I opened this palette, I knew exactly the kind of looks I want to try with this palette. So there will definitely be more videos for the eyeshadows but for this first impressions I wanted to do a review on kind of the eyeshadows I would normally use every day because that's the most important thing for me if one of the blues or whatever other colors green doesn't work for me that's fine because I can at least utilize the rest of the colors so this is my first impressions video on the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration. Look at these colors. This is amazing. Um, this is definitely the section that I will probably be using less often. But I definitely think you do want to have some like brighter colors. I know when I was doing my Amrizi inspired video I had to use my Sephora collection palette which I'm not really a fan of. I don't think it's very pigmented. I don't think it's I don't think it's a great palette. So this definitely will keep all of my crazy colors, desires satisfied. And there's also a ton of some nudes and some browns that you can use every single day. And then there's your regular dark smoky eye colors. So this palette has literally everything you will need. Um, I did hope when I saw the, like the pictures of this, I was hoping this yellow would have been more yellow. But this is kind of like a mustard yellow. But I think that will actually be a lot nicer on my skin tone. Um, especially in the fall so I'm definitely excited to do some fall makeup with the burgundy colors and then the burnt orange and things like that definitely the green as well so I'm really excited and once we get into this video you will see um, kind of my thoughts on the eyeshadow as I try them and leave me a comment if you want me to do some swatches. I know there's a lot of swatches on this palette already on Instagram or everywhere else. So I didn't bother doing a swatch for this video. But I will definitely show you for some of them in this video. For example, let's try the blue. It is crazy pigmented. I mean, look at this. Isn't that crazy? Look at it. It's literally perfect. 
as, as much as was on my finger now transferred to here and that is exactly what I'm looking for in an eyeshadow I mean look at my finger it's almost clean except for the top but it's almost clean and everything else is now here and that's exactly the kind of eyeshadow palettes I'm looking for because when you're applying eyeshadow you don't want to leave all of the eyeshadow on the brush which Kylie Jenner that was literally all of your palettes I was really disappointed with those I still use them just because of the colors um, but definitely now that I have this palette I don't think I will be using those at all because there was just a lot of fallout and as you can see with this it's super pigmented it's really really pretty I mean this pa this palette is just to die for I'm gonna do one more this is the green look at that isn't that crazy I don't think I've ever seen an eyeshadow palette this pigmented and this whole thing only cost me I think $38 look at this I am so excited for this eyeshadow palette you don't even understand I am so happy that I was satisfied because the way I was waiting for Rihanna to come out with that collection and I wasn't happy at all I was so excited that when I opened this I was satisfied. I am. Good job, Morphe. Oh my goodness, that is so pigmented. I'm loving it. I think that's probably the most pigmented eyeshadow I've ever tried. Wow. It's literally beaming. That is crazy. And I didn't even put much on. Usually these lighter shades are not this pigmented. What I'm also loving about this is that there is no fallout. I'm really scared for the more pigmented colors that I'll be using, but right now there is literally no fallout under my eyes, which I'm loving. I am so excited so far. I really don't want to jinx it though. This is a really big palette though, for so for traveling it will be really hard. And especially because the bigger it is, the more likely it is that it will break. The matte ones were really really pigmented, especially this burnt orange color that I did. Um, I barely had to put anything on and it's pretty crazy, uh, especially in person. And right now, the only shimmery eyeshadows I use are the Shock Shadows from ColourPop. And those are pretty, like, they're really shiny, but they're not that pigmented. So I want to see how these ones go. That's really, really pretty. This is such a light color, and it's so pigmented. I'm so happy. This is probably the best thing I've bought this year. Um, I'm happy. I'm excited, guys. So what I do so that I don't have to like do too much blending and especially with shimmer um, you want to keep all that pigment. So what I do is just go over the other shade 
and then once they overlap it almost looks like it's blended and then you don't have to do too much blending a little bit of this one And where they overlap, I just kind of pat it. Okay, so with these more pigmented shades, I do see a little bit of fallout. But it's nothing crazy and nothing that can't be fixed. So, usually with eyeshadows, this is probably as much as you get. But with some eyeshadows, it just keeps falling. But with this, I am applying a lot for the shimmer. So some of it is falling off, but I'm sure if I just hit my brush like I do for the other ones, there wouldn't be fallout, but because I'm just kind of sliding it on, um, some are falling off. So I'm just going to wipe that off quickly and see if it does anything. One thing I don't like with these shimmery shadows is that when you put on eyeliner afterwards, you can still kind of see this glare, and especially in pictures. So even, even though the eyeliner looks perfect, in pictures it looks like it's not because of how shiny it is. Like you see here, it looks like I'm missing a piece, but I'm not. It's just the shining of the eyeshadow. And I'm also using the House of Lashes glue. This glue is amazing, but one thing about it is that <laughs> once it dries, it takes like a week for, for it to come off of my eyelashes. I don't understand why. But like if I take off my makeup, like you won't really see it, but it will stay on some lashes. And then randomly, like two days later, when I close my eyes and open them, I get this like sticky line of glue, but it's really good. Look at the difference between no lashes and lashes. It's crazy. So now I will add some more eyeshadow to the bottom. So I will use the same color as the transition shade. Also add the same silver shade right here. And I add some eyeliner. So this is Marc Jacobs. Now I will add a black shade to where I did the eyeliner and let's see now the moment of truth whether a dark color is going to have a lot of fallout. Oops. There's actually no fallout so that's amazing. And it is super black, which I love. Wow. I am so impressed. Thank you, Morphe. And thank you, Jaclyn Hill. This palette is literally all you need in your life. Lastly, just add some mascara to your bottom lashes. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be putting up new videos every week 